Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these pants for a baby between zero and three months. I made them to match the little jacket that I showed you a few weeks back. I'll leave the link to that tutorial up here and down here in the information box, along with the tutorial uh, for these baby shoes. I still have to make the matching hat, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, if you want to make these baby pants, for a newborn all you have to do is just use a three millimeter crochet hook with light number three baby yarn and if you want to make them a bit bigger for a baby between three and six months all you have to do is just use a four millimeter crochet hook okay so I hope you like them and without further say let's get started and thank you for watching okay to begin I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this super soft baby four ply yarn um, that's the brand James C. Brett. This is a British brand. I ordered this online, so I will leave the link to where you can purchase this yarn um, down here in the information box. If you want to use a US brand, the equivalent would be Baby Soft. This yarn here, I always use this yarn. Um, and as you can see, this here is Baby Soft, and this is the British brand, and they're exactly the same size. And this color here is in a uh, light pink and that's the shade number by6 and then we're going to also use a little bit of white so it's also by the same brand but like I said you can use uh, baby soft as well or any light number three baby yarn that's the equivalent to this yarn here um, I believe they call it differently they call this a four ply but we call it a light number three and they're exactly the same okay so enough of that to begin, I have 71 chains. This chain here measures 15.5 inches, which is about 39 centimeters. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that our chain is not twisted. So we're going to do this. And we're going to join to the first chain. Like this. Okay, and now we're going to join to the first chain like this, to the front of the chain. right there and I'm going to make a slip stitch this yarn here is super super soft um, and I love it I got several colors in different size so I'm going to start making a couple things using this yarn okay so now that we're joined we're, I'm going to chain one and now into the next chain, this one here, I'm going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into this chain here and make a half double crochet. Yarn over again, insert your hook into the next chain and make a half double crochet. This is all we're going to do for this first row. Just make one half double crochet on each one of the chains just like this all around at the end of this first row of half double crochets you're going to have a total of 70 half double crochets so continue like this all around i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this first row i have a total of 70 half double crochets to finish i'm just going to insert my hook here into this um, chain space and make a slip stitch and this is how I finished this first row with a total of 70 half double crochets. Now for the second row, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to flip like this. So the stitches that we just did are going to now be upside down. So flip this over like this, insert your hook into the first chain right there and make a slip stitch. And now we can start our second row. One thing here, if you have a hard time doing this next part here, um, you can do this part here any other way. This is just going to be the waist. So if you prefer to do it any other way, that's fine. The only thing um, I recommend is that you have the same stitches as I do um, after we finish this part here. Okay, so to continue for the second row, I'm going to um, yarn over in this first half double crochet that's here, I'm going to make a front post half double crochet. The next one, a back post half double crochet next one front post half double crochet 
Next one, back post half double crochet. This is all I'm going to do for this second row, just alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet all around. Continue like this, I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row to finish. I'm just going to insert my hook here to the side where I have this chain and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this second row. Now we're going to make one more row, so chain one, and these stitches that we have here, we're going to work them in the same way. So if it's a front post, we're going to make a front post half double crochet, just like this one here at the beginning. The next one is a back post half double crochet, so we're going to make a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. This is all we're going to do, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 70 half double crochets. To finish, I'm just going to insert my hook here to the side where I have this chain and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this third row with a total of 70 half double crochets. Now, if you want to make this a bit wider, this is going to be the waistband. Um, you can do that. This is about an inch, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, so now, for the next row, I'm going to chain one and into the same stitch I just did my slip stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next, half double crochet, single crochet on top of the next, and so on. This is all we're going to do all around, just make single crochets on each one of these half double crochets. Continue like this, I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Up to here, I have a total of 69 single crochets. Now, I still have one more to do, but I'm not going to make this last one, but rather I'm just going to go to the chain here and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this fourth row with a total of 69 single crochets. Now, from here on, we're going to start counting our rows. So for the first row, I'm going to chain three and into the same stitch where I just did the slip stitch, I'm going to make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. And here's our first fan to this first row. Now, to make the second fan, we're going to skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, I'm going to make another fan. So double crochet, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, one and two. Skip two single crochets, one, two, and into the third, make a fan. So double crochet, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do all around. So continue like this, making these fans. Remember, you're going to skip two single crochets and into the third, single crochet you're going to make your fan. I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. Now I have a total of 23 fans and to finish this row, I'm just going to insert my hook here between the double crochet and the three chains. So right there and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the first row with a total of 23 fans all around. Now to make your second row, you're going to turn and we're going to make three slip stitches. The first slip stitch is going to go on top of the first double crochet, the second one on top of the second double crochet, and the third inside the chain one space. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and inside this same stitch, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, one and two. And here's the first fan to this second row. Now to make the next fan, you're going to jump to the next fan. So inside the chain one space, you're going to make two double crochets, one, two, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, and here's the second fan to this second row. Now you're going to continue like this, just making these fans all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this second row. 
Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 23 fans. To finish, I'm just going to insert my hook here between the double crochet and the three chains right here at the beginning and make a slip stitch. And this is how I'm going to finish this row and all the rows that follow. This is how you're going to finish each row. And to start each row, you're going to turn and make three slip stitches. So for this third row, we're going to make three slip stitches. The first one is on top of the double crochet second one on top of the second double crochet and the third is inside the chain one space okay now you're going to chain three inside this chain one space we're going to make a double crochet chain one two double crochets one and two and here's the first fan to this third row now to make the next one you're going to jump to the next chain one space and make the same thing two double crochets chain one two double crochets one and two and here's the second fan to this third row continue like this all around to finish this row you're just going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch and then you're going to turn and chain three and do the exact same thing I just did here we're going to do this for a total of nine rows if it's more or if it's less I'll let you know here how many rows I'm going to do so continue like this I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of the ninth row and it measures from here to here, it measures 5.5 inches, which is about 14 centimeters. Now to finish this ninth row up to here, I have a total of 22 fans and I'm going to make a reduction. So I'm going to reduce this fan here. So to do that on top of this fan here or inside this fan, I'm just going to make a double crochet. And now to join and finish this ninth row, we're going to do the following. I want you to count 11 fans counting here from this first one. So we're going to count 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is the 11th fan. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line these two together like this. Make sure your yarn is out of the way. and. I'm going to insert my hook here between the double crochet and the three chains. So insert your hook there and into the back fan. This is the fan number. This is fan number 11th. I want you to go to the top of the double crochet. See right there and insert your hook there and make a slip stitch. Now here we just finished the ninth row and we divided um, our legs. See, that's what it looks like. So now, from here on, we're going to count rows. So what I want you to do is into this back fan, we have one double crochet left. So in there, we're going to make a slip stitch. Inside the chain one space, make a slip stitch. Chain three. And inside the chain one space, again, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, one, and two and here's the first fan to this first row since we're going to start counting rows and now I'm going to work my way around this way so into the next fan this one here I'm going to make a fan it's exactly the same way we've been working so two double crochets chain one two double crochets and now jump to the next fan and work another fan. So continue like this until you have a total of 11 fans. This is going to be your 11th fan right here. So I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to finish this first row and then start on our second row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. Up to here, I have 10 fans. I still have this last one here. And I noticed that this leg is a bit um, wide so we're going to reduce one fan here so on top of this last fan I'm just going to make a double crochet and now to finish this row I'm going to join here to the beginning between the double crochet and the three chains I'm just going to insert my hook there and make a slip stitch and this is how we finish this first row now for the second row we're going to turn and here we're going to make four slip stitches one on top of the double crochet one on top of each one of these two double crochets and inside the chain one space so beginning here on top of the double crochet make a slip stitch on top of the next double crochet and on top of the next double crochet inside the chain one space now chain three inside this chain one space make a double crochet chain one 
two double crochets. And here's the first fan to this second row. Now just continue around making fans, so jump to the next fan and make a fan. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this second row and then show you the third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. Up to here, I have a total of 10 fans. We're always going to have these 10 fans. So to finish this row and all the rows that follow until we have a total of 10 rows, I'm going to insert my hook here into the space between the double crochet and the chain three space. So right here and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row and all the rows that follow, you're going to do the exact same thing. Now. To make the third row, you're going to turn, and to begin each row from here on, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make these three slip stitches. So one, two, and three. Now chain three, double crochet inside this chain one space, chain one, two double crochets, one and two. And here's the first fan to this third row. Now to make the next fan, you just jump inside, you just jump into the next fan and make a fan. Now this is all we're going to do all around for about 10 rows. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be 10 rows, but so far we have three. So I'll meet you at the end of the 10th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this ninth row, so I did a total of nine rows. Up to here, I have nine fans. I'm going to make a reduction. I'm going to reduce this fan, so inside this fan here, I'm just going to make a double crochet. And to finish, I'm just going to insert my hook here between the double crochet and the three chains and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this ninth row. Now, for row 10 and 11, you're going to turn and you're going to make a slip stitch until you come here inside the chain one space. So in this case, we're going to make four. On your next row, you're only going to make three slip stitches. Okay, and now that we're inside the chain one space, chain three, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. And here's the first fan to this 10th row. Now to make your next fan, jump to the next chain one space and make your next fan. This is all you're going to do all around for this 10th row. We're going to do this row and then another row. So continue like this. I'll meet you at the end of the 11th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 11th row. I have a total of nine fans to finish this row. I'm just going to insert my hook here between the double crochet and the three chains and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this 11th row. Now for the 12th row, we're going to turn and we're going to make these three slip stitches. So one, two, and three. Okay, and now I'm going to chain three and make two double crochets inside the same stitch here. And here's the first fan of three double crochets for this 12th row. Jump to the next fan and make three double crochets. This is all we're going to do. It's just three double crochets inside each one, chain one space of each fan. So continue like this around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 12th row. To finish, I'm just going to insert my hook here between the double crochet and the three chains and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this 12th row. Now, for the next um, four rows, we're going to work single crochets all around. So beginning here, we're going to chain one and into the same stitch here I did the slip stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet. A single crochet on top of the next double crochet, single crochet on top of the next, and into these next three double crochets, one single crochet on each one. So for each fan of three double crochets, you're going to have three single crochets. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of single crochets and I have a total of 27 single crochets. If you have less or more, don't worry about it, it's okay. These are the last rows that we're going to do, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to have the exact number of stitches. 
Okay, so to finish here, I'm just going to insert my hook here on top of the first single crochet and make a slip stitch. And this is how you're going to finish this row and all the rows that follow since we're going to do the same thing for the next three rows. So to make the next three rows, you're going to chain one, insert your hook into the same stitch where we did the slip stitch and make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next single crochet, single crochet into the next and so on. Just continue all around making single crochets. I'll meet you here at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row of single crochets. To finish, I'm just going to go to the top of the first single crochet and make a slip stitch. I've already cut my yarn, so this is just going to be a slip stitch. And then now I'm just going to pass this yarn through this last loop and this part here is done. All we have to do is just hide, hide our ends and this um, leg here is done. Now we're going to do the exact same thing we did here on this other side. Um, this leg here measures from here to here, it measures 12 inches, which is about 13 centimeters. Okay, so now to do the other leg, this one here, this is going to be the back side since we have this um, string here in the back. So we're going to turn this over like this. This is the front. So right here in the back, we have this fan. So we're going to insert our hook and I'm going to leave um, about 10 inches here of yarn in case we have a little gap here between um, so that we can close it with this. But I don't think we're going to need it, but just in case leave a long string here. Okay, so I'm going to insert my hook into this space here between this fan and this fan. So. I'm going to do the same thing here in the back. We have the double crochet. So right there, right in between, I'm going to grab this loop, bring it through the front. And chain one. And now we're going to make these three slip stitches here. So the first one is going to be on top of the first double crochet. We're going to make a slip stitch. On top of the next double crochet, make a slip stitch. And inside this chain one space, make a slip stitch. Now we're inside this fan. Chain three. And jump to the next fan and make a fan. So double crochet, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing, a fan. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you here at the end right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. Up to here, I have 10 fans. Now we have these three chains here. I'm going to pinch here the last chain and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this first row. Now there is a small gap here, so what we're going to do after we're done is just um, weave this yarn here between um, these stitches to close this part here, and um, it's done. So that's why we left that there. Okay, so now to make the next row and the rows that follow, you're going to turn, and these rows here are exactly the same way we did here on this other side. So make three slip stitches, one, two, three, chain three. Inside the chain space, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, one and two. Jump to the next fan and make a fan. So continue like this all around, making these fans. When you're here at the end, you're going to join here at the beginning like we always did on this other side. Make a slip stitch and turn make the three slip stitches that we just did and chain three and make your fan. Okay, so continue like this until you're done with the this other side. You're going to do exactly the same thing we did here. So I'll meet you once we're done with this part to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the second leg and here it is. This is what it looks like. So now as it is, the baby pants are done. This is the back and here's the front. This is what, what they look like. Okay, so now I'm going to make a row of fans all around this third row. One, two, three. So this row here. So beginning in the back, we're going to turn this like this and we're going to find the center fan. This was our center fan right here. This is where we did a double crochet at the end when we separated the, the legs. So 
we're going to count one, two, three. So the third fan down, insert your hook in the middle right between um, this fan. So right here, right in the middle. Insert your hook, grab a loop. I'm going to use the same color, pink, and chain three. One, two, three. Into the same stitch here, the same space, I'm going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet. Okay, now jump to the next fan. So same thing. The best way to work this part here is to fold it like this and all your fans are going to fall in line. So here's one, here's another one, and so on. So the next fan would be this one here. So right in the middle, right there, you're going to make a fan. This is all we're going to do all around. Just make these fans of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so continue along like this all around. I will meet you here at the end right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of fans. I have 23 fans all around. Now to finish, I'm going to pinch this third chain here at the end and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this row. Now for the next row, we're going to turn like this and we're going to make three slip stitches. The first one is on top of the first double crochet of this fan next one on top of the second, and next one inside of the chain one space. Chain three, inside the same space here, we're going to make six double crochets. So including the three chains, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets including the three chains now jump to the next chain one space of the next fan and make seven double crochets this is all we're going to do for this row just seven double crochets inside each one of the chain one spaces of each of the fans continue like this all around i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end now to finish this row, I'm just going to go in here between the double crochet and the chain three and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this row. Now to make the next row, we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and between each double crochet right here, between each one, we're going to make a double crochet chain one double crochet, chain one, and between the next two, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. This is all we're going to do on each one of the fans, and if you count each double crochet, including the three chains here at the beginning, we have one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets separated by one chain. Now to jump to the next fan, you're not going to chain one here, but rather go between the first and the second double crochet and make your first double crochet and now chain one and then again between the next two double crochet chain one between the next two double crochet chain one between the next two double crochet chain one this is all we're going to do so continue like this all around i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end. Now to finish, I've cut my yarn already because I'm not going to use this color anymore. So I'm just going to pinch here the third chain and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row. And now I'm just going to pass this yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. Now with this color white, we're going to do one more row. So insert your hook into this first chain one space. Here are the chains. This is the slip stitch. So right here, right in this chain one space. So grab this loop, bring it through the front and chain one. Now into the same stitch here, make a single crochet. Chain three single crochet into the next chain one space chain three single crochet into the next chain one space chain three single crochet into the next chain one space chain three single crochet into the next chain one space and now this is how you're going to work each one of the fans and here we have 
this space between this fan and this fan. We don't have a chain one space here, so here you're just going to chain two and jump to the first chain one space. And then chain three, and then single crochet into the next chain one space. So continue like this all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this last row. Here to finish, I have chained two and I'm just going to insert my hook here where I have the single crochet and make a slip stitch. And now we're done. Our baby pins are done. I just need to hide my ends, but for the most part, the baby pants are done. This is the front. I love the way that this turned out. And here's the, the legs and here's the back. And now we have matching pants for the baby jacket. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all your support. So until next time.